Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Project Entropy on PC using the amazing BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Project Entropy and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Project Entropy. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to start we have to launch our favorite browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type this URL, simply because I provided the link in the video description and the first main comment. After clicking on this link, we arrive here on the website of BlueStacks which the Android emulator that we will launch to enjoy the game Project Entropy on our PC. It is now obvious that we access several advantages of preferring the emulator. Now we are ready to start downloading the Project Entropy by clicking on this button play on BlueStacks that you can see here in green color. The step is clicking on it. And the download step takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the installer, OK, then we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the device. We answered yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installer considerably better. The installer is straightforward. It contains two possibilities. Install, and setup path. I will describe what setup path truly does. We purely click it. And we note that we, they got here the path where in fact the emulator will be put in. If we would like to change for better this folder we have got to click on this, browse, option. And now we pick another directory and install the emulator specifically where we want. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. And I simply click install. Now, there it is. The setup commences and it's going to proceed along with the download of those MB which are visible on this computer screen. Once you save it on your computer, it could be a little bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed will go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your connection and depending on the efficiency of the emulator servers. Now they're going super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator happens to be started automatically. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will advance to the right when it actually reaches the finish, the emulator can be started for the very first time. In fact, the emulator has been started, here it is for the very first time. Before we continue, as you will notice, it has made two app icons right here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks software icon is definitely the one we're concerned about. At any time when we are planning to launch Project Entropy on our laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this app icon and as a result run the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's conduct the next phase, which is actually a must and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To do this we will browse there to System Apps, we click. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can see the Google Play is started. In this case we must sign in. Now once we're here, we have to begin doing this following step that is compulsory. Therefore simply click on Sign In. Now it shows Checking Info. It could sometimes get stopped at Checking Info, and so it isn't going to advance. If so, you may attempt to log in in after a number of hours but it will surely quite likely be solved. Now we're going to type our username and password. The email address needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its matching password. For instance you could use the same exact email you use at this time in your YouTube account. Then I am going to submit my information and I'll go back immediately after I have completed it. That's it, info typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We can consent to all of them by just hitting, I agree. Next, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You can keep it selected it's going to make a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you can utilize that option if you like. We mouse click on accept. 
Google Play is started without need to open it manually and immediately. To install the app, we must get to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking that app icon marked green colored. Now that we are discovering the desktop of that Android emulator, we see that we come with right here the install app option. We simply click on that button. Here we have got the game app. So let's then click right here on the install link that I'm just showing now in green color. And it will commence the software installation. At this moment it would install the game app. It typically takes a little while or perhaps it could possibly be very quick. This all will depend on, on our own internet connection. This has actually completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by pressing the following option that I am showing in green, so that you can use Project Entropy for the first time. We are by then on the emulator desktop, and then we're going to just click the brand new Project Entropy app icon that was generated. The game app is started for the first time. Now there we get it. I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will discuss the sound level of this emulator. It is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we can activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is actually the very first one. We mouse click on this app icon which I'm showing in green color. And the monitor is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. If we would like to run the app in full screen, we hit this particular game icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing the game in 100% screen setting. To quit the 100% screen setting, click the F11 key. And we might currently end up being in normal display setting. Now I am choosing to demonstrate you the keys mapping which is really quite enjoyable. That step we may be ready to utilize the game app much more easily. The first thing is to click this application icon. And there you will have the ability to complete the appropriate configurations. Let me put the standard settings, however if you choose to improve it, you can easily achieve it without having problem. Obviously, the emulator is entirely in our own language. Sometimes it occurs that your emulator is started in the improper language, such as, in Japanese. And to place it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And there throughout various other settings, we just click the, language, drop down. We should select the language we wish, Italian, Japanese, and so on. As soon as the language is selected, we could save, the emulator would restart, and the video game, next time we use it, will as well be in the preferred language. Now, you can find another thing that we need to take into account, and this is that we will get an email reporting that a brand new electronic device has been associated with this Google account. It will certainly ask us if we're the ones who have connected that device. Yup, we shouldn't get worried, considering that the emulator is behaving like an Google Android smartphone or tablet. And to find which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And we browse here to the, model, selection. And there we see that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for my video tutorial. I hope you appreciated it, specifically that everyone thought it was handy. In this case, allow it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and I will be happy to answer all your comments, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment box down below. Mouse click on any of those online videos which are usually appearing on the list of videos to watch and see you in the next video game videos. Bye.